This is so funny. And I'm having lunch with Ares, and we were, and we, <laughs> and we were our co-host Harry Turkish. Wish uh, Harry is with us. Yes. Next Thursday, we'll do we this. We have Laura with us as well. Should we turn the camera? Yes, we have Laura. Hold on, let's just turn it. No, 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 we can only hold it one screen. <laughs> See, it's only like we're, we're like live on screencast right now, so it's just, there's only one screen in front of us. <laughs> only one. <laughs> See, I told you have a bigger head than you do. <laughs> she does have a bigger head than me. There you go. Okay, let's get to it. We're going back and forth right here. Okay, so um, we are live right now on uh, socialchat.net. Do you like to plug? Please. That's why you're live. That's what you Oh, okay. Here. Right next to you. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. You're making me laugh so hard today. I, well, I re you're right next to it, so. <laughs> oh, come on. See, it's nice. I don't have an echo or anything. Yeah, why is that happening? Because we don't have another clip's precast now. Huh? That was the whole reason why, because we had. Two's going on, yeah, so. Yeah, the speakers. So, Ares, when you, you want to go ahead and do the market view? As you're Let doing Harry that, start. Harry, you want, Harry, you want to do the market view? Is this my salad? Yeah. Okay. Sure. So, I'm, I'm going to have my salad. All right, Harry, let us give you the, the lowdown. You're going to have to come closer to the microphone. At the 115, the microphone. At the, uh, 115 hour, you have the Dow Industrials up 60 points, uh, the, net, the tech heavy NASDAQ up 10 and a half, uh, the 10 year bond up two ticks at uh, 204, 2% 2 yield. Gold's up uh, $2 at uh, 15940 uh, The euro dollar, uh, euro's up a tick, up a cent at uh, $1.30 to the dollar. And the S&Ps uh, are sitting here at uh, up uh, six and a quarter at 156078 uh, What I'm looking at, what, uh, what I'm looking at today, well, let's start with the S&P. The S&P uh, as I said, is up uh, six and a quarter at 150.60, uh, pushing, looking to push and break the all-time high of uh, 15.65 and change here. So uh, we, have a, we have a pretty strong uh, uh, standard and force market here uh, today. Um, stock specific, well, market specific. Um, well, let's do stock specific. Stock, stock, stock specific. What I'm looking at today. H.J. Hines, uh, as uh, you may have heard, is being uh, purchased, um, being acquired by 3G Capital and Berkshire Hathaway. They're uh, looking to uh, to fund the acquisition through uh, a, through a bond offer, a 2.1 billion uh, bond offer, uh, in addition to 12 billions in loans. Uh, the company is looking to sell uh, the 2.1 billion worth of bonds uh, with a seven and a half percent uh, handle on a senior, as far as senior note is concerned. Um, on a macro view, uh, uh, Germany is looking uh, to uh, cut 2014 spending by between five to three hundred billion uh, billion dollars euros euro billion dollars worth. And to balance its budget by 2000, uh, by 2000, by 2015, uh, that would be ahead of the schedule. Uh, uh, back to the stock side, uh, Samsung uh, is looking to uh, unveil the new uh, flagship smartphone, the uh, Galaxy 4S, which is uh, going to be a um, real game changer. And go head to head with, uh, with the iPhone. Like a light? Uh, they're, uh, they're looking for sales of 10 million units uh, in the first month. Uh, in the first month alone, and they're looking to avoid uh, supply problems, which cost uh, the company 2 million units worth of lost sales uh, back in May. And that's basically all, uh, all I'm looking at here today. It's kind of quiet. It's kind of yeah. quiet. Well, 
Yeah. And what about yesterday? You know, um, Harry, what do you think about yesterday's? Uh, was it like uh, retail sales? Retail sales were strong yesterday for the month of February. So who knows? It's it's you know it, it's a month it's a month by month thing. I think that um, that um, the sequester you know will probably uh, show in 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 February in March uh, in March data when it comes up. But there is one uh, one disturbing thing is that foreclosures seem to be on the rise again um, here. And uh, I think the banks now are putting more supply uh, onto the market as far as for foreclosed homes. So we'll see just what happens here with uh, with uh, housing foreclosures. Yeah. Well, you know what? There's a lot of economic numbers that are coming out the last couple of days. Obviously, the Dow right now we're looking at is what uh, 14. Uh, we've hit a record of uh, 14 513. 14,513 on the Dow, and um, I don't know about you, Harry, but there's a lot of people saying the momentum is going to continue, or we're going to see this as uh, just the beginning of a huge bounce back, and I guess it all depends um, really on what's going on with China as well. What's happening in China? Are, are, is there, uh, do they revise their GDP upwards, Harry, to like 7%? I, I, pretty strong, isn't it? The, but that yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I I didn't see that figure, but that would not be surprising. I I, I don't know. It, it's I, I I can't see I can't see where the demand is coming from. I mean, I really can't. I mean, with this, I mean, I mean, with the stock, I mean, with the market rally here, I mean, that that just shows that you still just can't find yield any place, and that uh, Bernanke is, is really doing, you know, is not doing anything to 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 slow uh, to slow the bond buy. So. You know, when you have that kind of perfect storm, you know, stocks seem to be stocks seem to be the only game in town. Yeah, it looks like that Q3 is in place. I mean, I know the next Fed minutes meeting is coming up pretty soon, but I mean, if we continue to see uh, retail sales, housing, do you think they're going to stop this Q3? Because I'll tell you what, one percent rise in the ten-year Treasury is going to crush bond portfolios. Just a one percent. So I mean, it's that could be the. Uh, the trigger of either a, a bad market, or I don't, or will it affect equities? What do you think? I, it, well, it, it'll affect uh, equities in, in a positive way. I mean, they're, if they're if they're doing nothing but 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 buying bonds, that uh, that's that that's keeping the old low. I mean, what, 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 yeah. I mean, what's interesting here is that. Is that gold uh, technically broke out to the upside? So gold, you could probably, you know, is is headed to a thousand dollars an ounce. So is that more of a flight to quality problem. type of thing, a defensive position? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean the dollar, I mean the dollar, the uh, dollar looks somewhat strong, but yeah, it, I mean gold, it, 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 the gold is is, is contrary to uh, a falling dollar. And um, the uh, falling dollar and um, and lower yields. So there, so 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 flight to quality. Yes, that, that's that's that. You can you can definitely say that. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's a, you know what? I'm, it's nerve wracking for me. All I know is I have uh, huge positions, obviously in South Florida, with retired clients that are looking for yield and you know like I said I've been holding these positions for the last three or four years and I'm seeing premiums not only my bond uh, my bond funds but also my individual bonds and I'm really at the point now where I really think I should take profits now and go into uh, you know reallocate and like look into something that's uh, going forward but at the same time because I have these clients that still need the income I'm, I'm basically going to look for like some sort of uh, equity income and you know what's really big lately, uh, Harry, is these uh, MLPs, Master Limited Partnership, transportation of, of, of natural resources, mostly being uh, gas and oil. And these MLPs are paying, you know, over 7%. And I'm thinking of making a move. You know, it's not, I'm not trying to compare apples to apples here because obviously munis and, and corporates are completely different than MLPs. But um, that's what I'm sort of looking at doing. What's what's your view on that? 
Yeah, I mean that's you know again that that's been that's been the that's that's been the that's been the uh, the, the the equity play as far as far as yields go. I mean that's where you're getting that's where you're getting the yields. But you know I, I, you know but you have to take a look at the cycle of of bank preferreds and and corporate preferreds and um, and MLPs. Is that uh, I mean I've had I've had a whole host of names, uh, especially bank uh, bank preferreds. Uh, the banks have now started to call all the high yield, all the high high yield paper that was issued back in 2008, 2009. And, yeah, remember um, the city seven and a half. So, remember those? Yeah. The, yeah. the city seven and a half. So you know what? That's funny you say that because yesterday at Prudential, their chief economist was at lunch at, at Capital Grill yesterday, and he was telling us that's the place to be is banks, bank preferreds, and and bank stocks. They really like that this year. They're looking at uh, bank, bank stocks. Bank, bank I mean, stocks. Laura's like banks. Why bank stocks? Because I mean, because I guess as interest rates are so low, the spread they make between lending the money out and what they actually cost of money, mm -hmm. that's where they're making their big money. Because rates historically <clears throat> in the past hundred years is the lowest rates we've seen. So banks yeah. are taking advantage by lending money out, charging a higher interest rate, and only cost them what one percent, and they charge us what eighteen. Yeah, but, but also, you know, last night I, I read something, um, Harry, that um, and, and Eric, maybe you guys can, you can elaborate because you have yeah. older clients. They're saying that um, because in 2012, uh, the census, they're saying that more older people are dying and young people are moving because they say this type of, of changes has, hasn't been done since the, the, the Great Depression, actually. That young people are moving away from the rural area and they're going toward more city and, you know, and the older people are just staying, and, and they're not because of the economy and everything. They're, they're dying faster than they should be. But well, you're right, though. The baby boomers are this, the biggest population group of baby boomers. Mm -hmm. What'd you say, Harry? Yeah, but the what did you say, Harry? Yeah, but the cities are where the jobs are. The cities are where I said the cities are where the jobs are. I mean, you're taking you're taking a look at small business. Typically, small business operates outside of large metropolitan areas. Mm -hmm. And um, and uh, with with virtually no jobs being created on, on the small business side, you know, big corporates are the only ones that that are that that are hiring. And where are the big corporates? They're in the large ma major metropolitan cities. So, 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 so that, that makes so that data makes so those, And they're saying that uh, that the. Uh, there's not enough immigrants. <laughs> really? Yeah. Let me pull it up. Hold on. I, 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 that's what this country kind of runs on. They say they say there's not that much uh, new immigrant coming into the. As far state. as agriculture and stuff like that. Yeah. They, they say it's not uh, new immigrants coming into the states and that. Um, so yeah, I pin everything. That's how I remember everything I do. And I put it on Facebook. So. But I pulled up the story last night. I thought it was interesting. It was the last thing I read last night, and I thought it was kind of, it's kind of scary in a sense that this, they're comparing this to the Great Depression. Well, I'll tell you what: the cost of cost of healthcare, the cost of goods, inflation. We were talking about that, you know, on many of our shows. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be hard to keep pace it's with with see. medicine going up and and, and oh, right. Healthcare, healthcare. healthcare. Everything's going up. Actually. Laura's with us right now. She sees a lot of that because of your business, right, Laura? Like long-term care and long-term care. I mean, people that don't have it are just really kind of out of doomed. They're doomed. They're doomed. They're doomed. And they'll be stuck in those doomed. snake pits of um, state-run facilities. And a client, forty years old. Yeah. Really. They're like from the neck down now, hit by a car unexpectedly. Forty. Wow. Wow. Forty years old. Huge settlement. Huge yeah. settlement. Yeah. Yeah. But what is he going to do with that money? It's going to run through it because our services alone are costing him $30,000. Wow. $30,000 a month for a four year old that got paralyzed, hit yeah. by a car. You're kidding me. And he got a settlement. So he's going to run through that money in so what? So quick. I mean, it looks like a lot of money on paper right now. Yeah. yeah. On it, but it's gone. $30,000 a month. There you go. That's over $300,000 a year. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, no, I'm going to put this as you. I'm and trying that's to find. just for his LPN. That doesn't there count his RN visits once a week, his PT visits on Medicaid. What about like his uh, cost of living, like his rent or his, his facility and where he's staying? 
and while his kids, his family. I'm gonna put the art. I'm gonna put the link on the screen for you, Harry, so you can see it. Um, it's saying that uh, the census record. Uh, yeah. There you go. Definitely. We have to do a lot of talking see, to do. I got this from the AP last night, so. Uh, okay. <laughs> and it says census shows records one in three U.S. counties are dying. So let me go ahead and put, give, the, give you this link so you can see what I'm talking about. And can you throw that on screen, guys? Yep, you sure can. See, this is cool. I've put never done screen. this. Here we go. See? Well, she's really good with this. So, How many people are following us, though, that can see this? No, this is a private one on Spreecast because I didn't want... Oh, this is for Harry to see. Yeah, it's for Harry to see so he can see us. This is very cool. So we're so live. If we, <laughs> we have an article that we like about our finances, we can just throw it over to each other on Spreecast, and now Harry can read the article. And we can discuss it. That's really um. Yeah, Harry, Harry did you see the article underneath uh, our pictures? You see that, Harry? Our screen. Yeah. Harry. Yeah. 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 I see it. What? Harry, you okay? Yeah, I see it. Yeah. He's reading. I'm, it. I'm reading the article. I'm sorry, you scared yeah. me for a second. <laughs> so it's saying, and, and and I think I find this very uh, relevant. Um, yeah. <coughs> I don't need to get some sun, so. <coughs> Oh my gosh, I'm having a coughing attack here. Technical difficulty. Technical difficulty. Listen, a record number of U.S. counties, more than one in three are dying off, hit by an aging population and weakened local economies that are spurring young adults to seek jobs and build families elsewhere. And this is the 2012 census estimated released Thursday highlights the population shift as, which was last, which was this morning before wow. I went to bed. <laughs> um, Thursday highlights the population shifts as the U.S. encounters its most sluggish growth levels since the Great Depression. The findings also reflect the increasing economic importance of foreign-born residents as the U.S. ponders an overhaul of a major 1965 federal immigration law. Without new immigrants, many metropolitan areas such as New York, Chicago, Detroit, Pittsburgh, and St. Louis would have posted flat or negative population growth in the last year. Immigrants are innovators and they're make, making things happen. They create jobs, says Michigan Governor Rick Schneider, a Republican at an immigration conference in the state last week, saying Michigan would be, should be a top destination for legal immigrants to come and boost Detroit and other struggling areas. Schneider said, made a special uh, appeal, please come here. The growing attention on immigrants is are coming mostly from areas of the Midwest and Northeast, which are seeing many of these residents leave after years of staying put during the downturn. With a slowly improving U.S. economy, young adults are now back on the move, departing traditional big cities to test the job market, mostly in the South and West, which had sustained the biggest hits in the housing bust. That was happening in China. People were leaving the farm agriculture and going to the big cities. So sort of the same thing is going on mm -hmm. here. All the jobs are in the cities. And companies like um, Walmart but, and Home Depot, they're taking out those small stores in the rural areas. Mm -hmm. So and we've been seeing that going on for years. For years. Because all the mom and pop shops are completely and disappearing. Gone. And, no more and they can't compete in price. Have you gone to Walmart? <clears throat> And, 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 and that's why I'm saying it's like this country was originally right. started on like immigrants and small businesses not developing anymore. Not, not anymore. And and take a look at this number. It says census data shows that 1,135 of the na nation's 3,143 counties are now experiencing natural decrease, where deaths exceeds birth. That's up from roughly 880 U.S. counties, or one in four in 2009. Already apparently in Japan and many European nations, natural decrease is now increasingly evident in large swath of the U.S. So that means that wow. we're, we're dying. Um, I mean, basically, we're dying. basically I mean, there's, there's, there's. Go ahead, Harry. I mean, there's three. There's three basic uh, uh, things here in, in that. One is that you know. As far as the as far as the immigrants go, they they're the ones who actually start their own businesses, who hire on a smaller basis, and without and without funds being available to them, you know it's very hard. It's it you know you're they're you know you're not seeing that that business growth. Therefore, therefore the it's, it's and therefore the the uh, the immigrants are finding it hard harder to actually get get small business loans to start a business and to hire 
you know, fellow fellow um, fellow, fellow immigrants. That's 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 one thought. The th uh, second thought is that you know, the uh, the the migration or the in, in or the changing in demographics from from larger um, major metropolitan cities, you know, up north is that people can't find, you know, either can't find jobs or they can't find jobs that will sustain a quality, you know, a quality of living that 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 you need up north, which which is greater than than in the Sun Belt. So therefore, more people are moving away, you know, from from expensive major metropolitan northeastern cities, you know, down to the Sun Belt where it's a cheaper where it's a cheaper um, where, where there's cheaper cost of living, and hopefully they'll be able to find jobs, you know, down there. I mean, when you're not making any money, why would you why would you live in a city like 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 New York when you can live in a city like Tampa or uh, or Miami, where the cost of living is basically a fraction, where it's basically a third, uh, if not more, than 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 what it is in cities like Boston, New York, Washington D.C. Um, uh, and the like. Look at Michigan. So, I mean, Michigan should be. Uh, I feel real, Michigan is like a dead state. Well, I mean, look, their bonds are no. My clients buy municipals. They won't touch Michigan. Michigan has like one of the worst reputations well, other than California. The city of Detroit, it, 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 you know, needs uh, you know it needs a fiscal bailout. You know, in 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 the hundreds of millions and and yeah. billions of dollars. They won't even touch the water and sewer. I mean, if you bottom. can't find what, no water, no. You need to if you're gonna buy munis, you buy you buy geos. You don't buy you definitely don't buy universities. You don't buy dorm. You don't they, buy they power. Don't you, know, to, you don't buy power. You, they don't even want to buy geos what? from 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 uh, Michigan. No, they don't even want the no, geos because, because the because they're backed by it, 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 property taxes. Well. What is Michigan known for anyway? The cars, car industry. That's what Chrysler, like Detroit, Ford, yeah. But, that and but no, we were, we restructured GM. We restructured Ford. Then we bail them out. We bailed them out. They're doing well. So why is there no jobs in Michigan? I mean, there are, but they're just it's it's just a slow process. But it, it seems like the, I guess, it seems like that they need to like bring some other type of of skills or companies or something in Michigan. I mean, well, yeah. Technology, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the car industry alone is big enough to create a lot of jobs, you know, in that area. But it's not creating that not that much job because they're all moving out of Michigan. How many people are from Michigan that, that are living in South Florida right now? There's a lot of it's a huge, the biggest Arab communities in uh, in Detroit, by the way. Yeah, I know. The biggest Arab community. Yep. All the Arabs move, uh, move to Detroit, which is kind of a uh, it's freezing, and they're yeah. not normal to that kind of cold. Yeah. They're not accustomed well, to it. Well, so. in Minnesota, the guys who own um, so my home office is. Mall of America yep. are, I think they're Lebanese or they're... I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. they're, they're these, these brothers own Mall of America. They're trying to build a mall down yeah. in uh, the Treasure Coast over here, but it didn't get passed because they want to do like another Mall of America. It's good for the economy, good I know, for our local economy. It didn't, it didn't get passed because they said that it would be... Um, just like just like us wanting to have a, a speed train going down the state. Well, that's our gov our governor really doesn't want to take anything from the administration. Mm -hmm. They offer to give us money for the fast rail, mm -hmm. fast train, and our governor because it was coming from Obama federal government. He doesn't want to owe him. He said no. Yeah, he goes. I don't want it. Which yep. to me, I don't. I thought that was that's so like political and bipartisan. Okay. Can you spit at me? We'll, we'll get. I don't even have to come back. <laughs> Who cares uh -huh. where it's coming from? We drink it all. Okay. The green tea. I love the green tea here. Who cares where the money comes from? We need a fast train in Florida. It would really help uh, our economy. I think people could travel to Orlando, Miami, mm -hmm. Tampa. We have so many big cities in Florida. People can travel faster. Yeah. And do and get business. To, yeah. Why would the governor want to restrict that? I just never thought that made well, sense. I mean, I think what isn't he coming? Is, isn't he going up for an, an election pretty soon? Yeah. <laughs> Yep. I mean, <laughs> if you don't like it, then you know. Right. <laughs> if you if you don't like what he's doing, then you you know when he goes up for election, you vote him out. That's that's. Unfortunately, democracy. I mean, I, I don't like to really put my own personal views, but I am Republican. 
So I don't really see anybody else front runner that I would like. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that one point I, I, I really didn't think because come on, United States, we're the only country that doesn't have like a, a fast train, like a speed bullet train that everybody else in the world is like so high tech. In Japan, they have those magnet trains now. Harry, you know what I'm talking about? Those magnet doesn't even run on uh, any yeah. fuel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I heard that that, you know why? Yeah, but you know why? It is because the federal, because the U.S. because the U.S. government owns Amtrak, and there and and anything that the government owns, you know, is just screwed up just for, yeah. just just Dying. in general. Horrible. So 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 unless you have private investment and private uh, and private ownership of of, of rails and other whatnot, nothing is going to get uh, nothing is going to get. Um, Built and nothing's going to be done properly. Well, when was the last time we like we? I mean, show. I mean, show me one agency that did that that is run properly. I I, I don't know of one. Any May and Freddie May. What are you talking about? Aren't they great? <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to giggle about that yeah. one. <laughs> I didn't but, see Harry laugh on that one. He was like, really? Uh, but 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 let me ask you something. When was the last time we did an overhaul on our, our railroad tracks? When's the last time we did an overhaul well, on our I'll, electrical I'll, grid? grid? Or any of that. We're a third, we're not considered a third world in our electrical grid. Because that's bad, because, you know, somebody just hack into that and just wipe out a whole electrical grid. Oh, and by the way, uh, did you guys hear about Obama's wife getting hacked? Yes. Right? And, other and some other huge celebrity. They got hacked, and now all these cyber stocks, cyber security stocks, uh -huh. are flying up. But, I told you it's going to be like the, the, well, we the talked must about that. Yeah, yeah. Like, if, if you. The, you are now going into the 21st. You are in the 21st century, and if you're not looking at, at security as, as your computer, or your internet, and that, if you're a big you're corporation, you're at huge risk. You're at huge risk. I mean, yeah. even Facebook's uh, guy, the guy that goes on and finds like worms and hackers and stuff, mm -hmm. he, he's actually a hacker for Facebook. He found another breach yesterday. He was on Market Watch and fixed it, but um, I think oh, uh, Michelle's it was her finances, her credit report. Was on got hacked. Really? So they got her her credit report, uh, personal information, emails, and other celebrities. Who was the other celebrities? I think it was. Um, I bet you it's the Chinese people. No. <laughs> I say that the Chinese people have like all these hackers that they have. Laura, where's your internet? You should be on your internet right now, Laura. Get give us some of the info. High tech world. Her iPhone five. <laughs> We got everybody she working. iPhone 5. <laughs> yeah, because they say that in China, they have like all these people they're hiring. And in Indonesia, it's this 17-year-old kid got uh, arrested for hacking. They, they, didn't, they didn't arrest him. They go, you know what? We're going to have you come work for the country. Yeah. <laughs> so they hired the kid. You ever see the movie Cash Me If You, Cash Me if you Can? Yeah. Yeah. They hired him in the end, paid him millions. Yeah, which makes sense. It he makes knows. sense. But, so, okay. ki so kids out there, if you're hackers, you have a bright future in the government. But really, that's why we need to like educate and, and teach our kids how to read code. You know, teach them how to do all that. That's, that's the future. Well, we posted. I posted that a couple weeks ago. They're they're Jay doing that now. Beyonce, Beyonce Jay Z. Good. They got they got hacked. Um, and they got like personal like ID codes and Kim passwords. Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Oh my got gosh. Hit. Sarah Palin, <laughs> Britney Spears. She got hit. She got hacked. Ashton Kutcher got hacked. Mel Gibson. Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden were also victims of the hacker. Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden, really? It's all the like. LAPD Chief Charlie Beck. Wow. Wow. The L LAPD Chief got hacked. That's a. Christina Aguilera. Wow. Well, it's every Hollywood oh, by star. By the same people? Same hacker. Cheney got hit too? No, that's Cheney. Oh, the hacker's name is Cheney. In Jacksonville, Florida? From our home state. How nice. <laughs> Good for him. No, I didn't. He was bored. Oh, yeah. I know. I'm just kidding. I don't care. No, I really, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not condoning that. I just. I wish I knew how to hack. No, I'm not. I'm, all day long. I'm not condone. I'm not. I am not saying that's a good thing to do. It's bad, but it's kind of funny because if you notice that the, the list of, of people that he um, hacked, they, they really didn't have good uh, PR. 
You know, yeah. the list of people that, that he hacked into had horrible, like, A lot of liberal, too. I think this guy was a Republican. <laughs> the hacker. <laughs> kind of sounds like if you were to do, like, a profile this, of this hacker, it's, it would be kind of... You think he's a Republican? Sounds like the, the people that he hit. Wow. Michelle Obama, Hillary Clinton... Uh, all the liberal, like, Hollywood stars, from Ashton Kutcher to, you know, the names that we listed. So, yeah, guys, that's a that's a huge str- – and some of these companies are, like I said, they're benefiting it already. Stock prices on these uh, cybersecurity stocks mm-hmm. have already moved up, and um, it's just really interesting. Another thing, too, is uh, what I understand is, that, you know, Europe is a major concern. I know Italy came out with an auction on their – on their, what they would say, treasuries, government bonds. Harry, did you hear about it? It was a very weak auction. People weren't buying. They don't have confidence in Italy, even with the new pope. Well, the yeah, new pope I is mean, Argentina, isn't it? Yep. They don't the new pope. What do you think no, about it, Harry? It, it, look, it, 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 I, think that, uh, I think that there was no austerity put into place in, in Italy. I mean, it, the, uh, the yields on Italian bonds uh, rallied uh, on on the fact that uh, that um, uh, that they changed uh, that they changed the government there, but the new government has, hasn't done anything to to right. alleviate uh, to alleviate the fiscal problems of the country. So I, yeah. I you know I, I wouldn't I wouldn't touch those bonds unless they were you know north of seven and a half percent, and they're not. So I wouldn't touch them until they yeah, until they have faith. Compare that to our treasuries right now. Our 10-year is, what, a little over 2%? And they're paying 7 on theirs. Yeah, it's still not high. So you imagine if we were to pay 7% on our treasuries? That means we would owe so much money because we're the biggest buyer of our treasuries lately. The United States government is. Really? Yeah. yeah. We keep interest rates low. Yeah, we're our own. That's that big thing we were talking about. The government, until they stop... We're not going to see inflation. They're they're purposely causing inflation to stay down, even though we're paying higher prices for gas and food. So where where are we getting the money to buy it back our own? <laughs> we're printing it. We're oh, printing oh, okay, it. Okay. Um, oh, okay. We are the okay. great printers of our money. <laughs> we're printing our own money <laughs> to buy I'm sorry. to buy our own treasuries. <laughs> that's right. Every, Isn't that like an oxymoron? I'm sorry. That's oxymoron. Yep. What, Harry? Every, go- okay. every government basement's working overtime, just printing <laughs> out the money. Man. That's why I'm saying that the news, did you hear about the virtual money, the Bitcoin? I'm heard telling about, you, yeah, yeah. the Bitcoin is going to be... Well, the new currency. The new currency. You it's hear gonna, about that? Like, oh, the, those, like, online money, like chips, whatever? That's yeah, how virtual money. going to try to control uh, commerce. E-commerce, yeah. And taxes, because a lot of people are avoiding taxes. When they go through the computer and stuff. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't pay for t- certain things. Don't get taxed in it at all. It's cyber. You don't have state tax because it's cyber. You yeah, know but I mean? chi- the Chinese they do. They no, do. They, some some do, but but like, I just, not all. I just ordered eight. I ordered my eight whites online. I got taxed. Oh, where? What state were you for? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. If you do it from a state that's registered, but some of these companies are global. Like, they're not I even registering. No, no, no. China just started. They, they're going to April first in China. They're, yeah. char- they're going to start uh, implementing, uh, yeah. Wow. E-commerce taxes. You know what? I didn't get taxed. No, you don't get no tax. Boom. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to start. That's the reason. Everything online you reason. buy is that yeah. you don't get taxed. That's yeah. why. That's the reason for these chips. Yeah. So they can control C and tax you that way. But it's kind of scary in a sense because now that's like, and it brings you back to security. I mean, everything's gonna be virtual. How are we gonna be able to trust this? So you, we gotta look at. I'm gonna start looking at all the different um, security um, companies. And see you know what? what? For next week, I'll get. A, I already have it in the office. Mm-hmm. I don't have it with me on my market watch, but I'll copy all of them. Mm-hmm. And we'll we'll shoot out some names that are really uh, some innovators out there in security because for our people, our listeners, it's a great yeah future investment. Leave it alone. Just like. Uh, we were talking about like that genie energy that does the shale oil in Israel. Mm-hmm. By the way, they just got their approval in Israel license. Wow! That was one of the big things that they were waiting for. Mm-hmm. So those we should get a list. We should get a list of companies that we talk about 
and put it on our our spreecast list. Yeah. And that way, like two years on the road, we can look at it and see its performance. Mm -hmm. And if people are interested, they can buy yeah. those stuff. Yeah. Because we'll have, we'll have a we'll have a copy of our spreecast. But um. We should start our own brokerage on spreecast. <laughs> what? Right, Laura. <laughs> How do you? You'll be the, you'll be the money girl. How do you? Well, have you collect the money? Post the link on here, and I want you to. Laura. What is it, Harry? <laughs> I you post the link on here that I want you to read. Blackberry okay. came out with something. Are the Blackberry numbers? How do I do it? Okay, you're gonna put the link underneath uh, underneath that says view, viewer chat. Sorry. <laughs> underneath the viewer chat, there's a, it says um. Let's see. You can, you can put it right here. Is that the stock we're talking about? Like we want to put? Uh, post here. Or you can post underneath it. There's a, it says screen query. Oh. There, right there. Here we go. Okay, here, let me, I'm going to take, I might take a copy of this. I'm going to put it right here. If you want to, you, there's two ways you can post it right there. Or you can submit, and post it right here. And put it on screen. And... Right there. Okay, let's see. For the BlackBerry, offer security solution Android. Wow. Because wow. I, I need a security for my iPhone. Yeah, because at least the phones are getting hacked. Phones are getting hacked. So I can like, shoo. Oh shoo. I'm like, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say now. Like that. Thank you. What is it, Harry? Blackberry is going to license out their security software for Android and iPhone. Yeah, the security feature for According Android. to this article. Yeah, they say Blackberry will offer technology to separate and make secure both work and personal data on mobile devices powered by Google and Android. Because of that. Because of the security? And by Apple. And and this is the company said, Apple okay. is supposed to be like one of the most secure. Macintosh is supposed to. Blackberry is the most. Yeah. They, they yeah. said, yeah, because because the, the, they do uh, they do like radio. They they, they ping. It's not C, the CDMA the CDMA like. What was that? Instant message is the, is uh, what all. So the instant message the Blackberry is. Yeah. I only know that cops can find you a lot easier on iPhones than they can on computers. <laughs> Do yeah. you, know, you hear what just Laura just That's said? That's a good point. She said all she knows is the cops can find you uh, easier on a on a iPhone than mm -hmm. on a BlackBerry. He catches most of his victims because they're on iPhones. Wow. So people, you find there you go. Almost like a house. house. Yeah, wow. they do. Because you know, you I heard know, about that. Yeah, you know how if uh, like I couldn't find my new my new iPhone, and I'm saying if I don't find my iPhone, my new iPhone, and it disappears somewhere. I will I will find this person. I will track that phone down because I have the box. Well, we know a couple of friends that got busted by the police because yeah. they, they <laughs> no, 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 no. They're not, not our friends. friends. No, 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 no. People that we know of, those, those are not that friends. Is not a friend. That's never considered that a friend. But they came to her house, knocked on her door, and they said, do you have an Apple iPhone? And she was like, what? She got arrested. And they're like, let's, and they're like, <laughs> they it's, charged her. it's pinging right now. And they're like. Uh, it's in your house. It's in your house. She, no, she, what happened is this girl actually went to a concert and um, stole. That's it. Yeah. I don't know if she stole or whatever, but, but somehow she got, she got some girl's purse. We don't know that. We weren't there. We can't really say that. Somehow she got in some girl's purse. Really? Um, but um, but took, took the phone and went home with it. Didn't think much about it. And um, so yeah. the, the, all of a sudden, like, I. Three o'clock in the morning, uh, the police knock on the door, and she's like trying to deny that she didn't have it, and then but she did have it, so she actually got in trouble for it. She got arrested for it because the phone was over a certain amount, a dollar. Well, I think that's good for like kids, like if you were kids, walk home from school and stuff. Uh huh. You, like hide their cell phone in their bag or something, so that you can know you know where they're at. No, we can. You need like a chip or something, you know, like that. I think it's an app for that. You can that. have find my iPhone. Is that, yeah? Yeah. When my kids are in school, I actually had a thing set up with AT&T. Yeah, find your iPhone. Yeah, that's an app. We need like a chip in our kids, though. No, we yeah. don't need a chip in our kids. About that way they get kidnapped and the, and the perpetrator takes the stuff away from them. 
The kid has a chip in him. Okay, and then and then when they get older, the government can, exactly. Like, yeah, and then somebody can hack in and find the chip. Did they talk and they about the violent. Bible? Like once we get marked like that, something like it's the end of the world. No, they they do that to the the Jews during the Holocaust. They, they, that's right. They uh they mark us. Yeah, so that's bad, bad areas, bad. <laughs> Harry, can you really just say that? <laughs> I know. Like, really? <laughs> Laura's like, really? <laughs> I want to know where everybody is 24 hours. I want to know where everyone is. <laughs> I want to chip in everybody. Just go on the Facebook page. I know. <laughs> we're talking about that. We can stalk now any of our friends, I mean, girlfriends. We can rob houses. Yeah, people. That's Facebook. People, Why does Facebook have that thing where it shows you where you live, the street, and everything? You see that on yeah, your yeah, page? No, no. I don't like that. You can take it off. You don't. What I don't get is people put their ad address. Why would you put your address on Facebook? Because they ask you for it. And some you don't just have put, to. But some people just do it anyway. Just because they tell you to doesn't mean you have to. Some people do what they're told. Okay, that, that's okay. Now that's going to be a sad moment in the history. Please don't spill food on you. <laughs> oh my God! That's what happens when you eat it. <laughs> we we Aries is like putting food on my 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 Mac over here. Oh oh. Oh, it's, it's spicy. It's spicy, all right. <laughs> Let me rub it off. Oh my gosh, you got it? Let me look it up. I'm stuck. We're still live, you know that, right? Oh, no. oh, I know. <laughs> can't control myself. <laughs> Harry's laughing away. No. <laughs> See now? Root for fun is. Very good. I don't yeah, know. Thank you, Lord. But did you hear about the uh, Japan? I you feel it. You know, the, she, she, he doesn't feel it what? either. Trust me, nobody. No, no, don't funny. pay attention. I think he's getting uh, too much of sushi over here. Um, there, I, was just, I wanted to say that, that, yeah, and I said no more Coca-Cola for you. But um, they say that. The, <laughs> did you hear about the Jap the Japanese people? They're like mining um natural gas. I'm trying to oh, did you hear about the company that's gonna liquefy natural gas? We're gonna be able to transport it. It's called LG, I think. Really? Yeah, let me see. That's it, LG. By 2016, it'll be ready. So you'll be able to transport natural gas into liquid form and transport it to like, because we have so much natural gas in the U.S. Uh -huh. but the whole problem is, 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 we can't transport it. Well, you can, but the cost and how do you do it? It's just air, yeah. you know. Like, and if you could, I think it's LG. Well, you transport it like you do uh, 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 gasoline, petrol. Well, no. you can, you can, you can uh, transfer it via rail. It, in uh, in, uh, in LNG uh, tanks, or uh, by, uh, or by, or by, or by trucks. The company is called. Well, yeah. What's they liquefy? That this company is actually going to get a liquid form. It's called the company's symbol is LG. It's at forty one dollars today, and uh, I'll put the market watch. It's also the future of uh, transport of energy, which is again. Anything that can get us off the dependency of Middle Eastern oil, yeah, is good for us. Obviously, I still say sugar cane. Oh, by the way, when I was at Prudential uh, Natural Resources, their manager yesterday was there. Uh -huh. I asked him about if there's any renewables in his portfolio, like clean air and those. Yeah. He looked at me straight in the face. He's like, Psh, no. The whole industry is like slowly forgetting about renewable energy. Really? Sad. Yeah. Why? Because no one's making money. And no one make a statement that, about it. That Obama investment yeah, they made, yeah, yeah. Is such a black eye. The stocks aren't moving. Everybody's focusing now on just making money, and they don't really care about like environmentally, which is sad. That is really sad. It's too expensive, and it's too highly taxed. Why was it, Harry? It's too expensive. And it's and it's and it's severely overtaxed. Yeah. It, yeah. We should do what we should do what Germany. What is it? Profile of it. I want to read about. Okay. Decade. Okay. Let me pull it up. So go to Market Watch. Put out LG. Do a search. Put LG. Here operates a public utility holding company. Provides reliable natural gas service through yes. regulated core utility operations while. Engaging in non-regulated activities. Hold on, let me put this up. <clears throat> Harry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the, the link to this. Really interesting company, guys. 
this is what Prudential is. They have it in the portfolio. They uh -huh. really like this company because of the, uh, like I said, they'll be able to take that natural gas, turn it into liquid uh -huh. and sell it. Oops. Sorry, Harry. I'm putting your stuff back on. You put mine in here. Yeah. Here we go. You know, that's another major problem we were talking about that too, Prudential Pools. The reason why our yeah, prices are up here is because we have a huge pipeline is issue. You know how they're trying to do that Keystone yeah. pipeline? But the big thing is, is the type of um, crude oil we're getting from Canada, uh -huh. it's called sands. It's very, um, it's not like the, what we like, like or what we're used to, sweet, the kind of like the sweet crude. Yeah. The ones in Canada for the sands, it's just really a, a, a tougher form that we have to uh, eventually uh, process and, or what's it called, uh, refine. And we don't have enough pipelines in the U.S. to move to refineries. <laughs> Like that crude oil to different See, um, You know, I spoke to someone um, a couple of weeks ago, and, and he made a lot of sense. It's, it's kind of like people are now just so focused on now that they figure they're going to die off anyway, so they're not going to worry about 20, 30 years because the boomers, they know that they're going to either someone to live longer and productive, but most of them want to just, you know, they figured, you know, they have another 10, 20, 30, if they're lucky. They'll just go ahead and, you know, Use whatever they can. They're not going to worry about what tomorrow is going to bring them. Well, that's what our government's doing. They keep kicking the, the yeah. kid down the road. Social Security, Medicare, no, no. health care. Yeah, nobody's focusing on, what. well, what it's, who's going to be, at the end of the day, who gets the bill? Who, who pays for it? Who, who's going to be suffering well, our this? Our grandchildren. Yeah, our great, know. great grandchildren. We might not, the, I mean, the earth might explode or something. <laughs> Well, 2019, we're having that other meteor, that that uh, asteroid or meteoroid that's supposed to like six more years. You mean? Yeah. Another one. Yep. I'm gonna have a party. End of the world party. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have an asteroid party. Asteroid. <laughs> we'll asteroid. all come together and so we'll all hang out. <laughs> Harry's laughing. <laughs> I'll serve you guys my way. Any, any excuse for a party? Yeah, I know. Any excuse for a party. I was serving my Yes, I did. It's right here. I showed it to Harry. So it's right here. And actually, I'm going to put Yeah, Harry, you should read about this. Uh, did you hear about this company, LG? Uh, no, but it looks interesting, actually. Do a little research on it. So let's, I want to see what your uh, analytical opinion is. <laughs> My opinion is I've lost too much money in gas stocks. It cost too much money? No, I said I've lost too much money in gas stocks over the last two weeks to really care. You know, that's we talked about that. Gas, yeah. the gas stocks the last two years have dragged. I haven't done anything. But I think we're going to see a, a change in that very shortly. Let's see? I don't know. I've, I've lost. I've lost too much. I've lost too much money in Sandwich, S, yeah. uh, SDT. Yeah. Well, if you're really like care, the big boys, like honest. Exxon Mobil, and you know, you know, what's a really good one too is Marathon. That's what the Prudential was saying. They love that. They have a huge position in Marathon Oil because they're a refinery. Uh huh. Where are they out of? They're out like the mid, uh, like Midwest. Mm -hmm. They said if you're out there in the Midwest, your refineries are doing better. The ones that like in Pennsylvania, the East Coast, they're doing worse because they're paying more for the uh, for that oil, the crude oil, than the people out in Midwest. Really? And then they have to refine it. So it's interesting. But oil is um, I don't care what you say. Energy is energy and bank stocks are going to be the big focus for 2013. Yeah, but That's see, yeah, but you know companies. Companies like Shell, Exxon Mobil, they've been getting out of the refinery business. Because if it's more profitable to be an exploration and production, EMP, than it is in refineries. I mean, you're having a lot of refining companies. Marathon is one, Valero is another one, VLO. I mean, a lot of these guys a lot of these guys a lot of these guys are getting out of the refining business because the margins aren't there. But the bigger problem though is the fact that there hasn't been a new refinery built in this country since the nineteen seventies early 70s so therefore you're so everything is like crumbling you see all these refinery fires because the infrastructure is so old 
that instead of building a new refinery, they're waiting until something blows up in order to do a patchwork job on it. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Blows up. <laughs> what about Chavez being gone now? With you know, they're we buy more oil from Venezuela. We're the one of the biggest buyers. So you, do you think the United States government's going to go in there and say, let, let's be a, a democracy over here now? You know how many barrels that we produce refined oil a day? Seven million a day. Wow. Use. And they can't, Venezuela can't even, they only do like, they can only output like two. Yeah, we buy basically all, all, the, all the Venezuelan product. Us and, and, the, and Cuba and some of the, and some of the uh, Caribbean countries. But uh, um, but Sitco is a division of of the uh, well. Venezuelan government. So 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 we so Sitco is here. I mean Venezuela. You know the the people of of Ohio, they give home heating oil away for free. Well, you know what the Chavez people did? in in, in Chavez took that money from the oil and gave it to the poor. That's how we got such a strong voting base and. Uh, and his loyalty comes from the oil. They oh, sell, wow. they take like, from the rich, and they did, did, the oil, did, did, and they give to the poor. Are we going through this right now? United socialist, States? yeah. <laughs> is, is, is that called socialist? I'm, I'm not, Obama's I'm not, trying, trying, but I'm not quite sure what that's called. having a tough time. Well, you know, with all these hacking. <laughs> yeah, it's been hacked so, out. So how much how much money does Michelle Obama spend? Well, I didn't see the credit report, but apparently they had her student loans credit report. They didn't. Uh, they didn't, didn't put it didn't, out there. Didn't Obama and, and Michelle Obama didn't they both lose their law license? I didn't know that. It's a story. Something about. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They lost it. They don't have the law. They don't have the law license anymore. Really? Yeah, you should Google it. Did, did, <laughs> Yeah, but they picked her now on the cover of Vogue. <laughs> they are not on the cover of Vogue. They are not on the cover Obama of Vogue. Is on, the, is on this month's cover of Vogue. Wow. Yes. Doing what? <laughs> the best dress? She, she looks hot. She has bangs now. See, I told you bangs are coming back in. <laughs> <laughs> Over 40 no, women. <laughs> bangs, bangs, bangs. <laughs> I like to bang, bang. Um, Michelle Obama lost her life while like, like false. Is it false? It's not true? Yeah. She still has it? She's got bangs. She got bangs now. <laughs> that's, that's a terrible photo of her. It's a terrible photo of her? Let's, let's, look, up, let's look it up. Let's see, Michelle Obama. Is she like the uh, first? She has an active one. She has a monitor. It's an active. She's, she's the cover of Vogue. He should have lost it after his... Uh, this is her second Vogue. His Illinois run. His corruption in Illinois. Apparently this is her... Um, let's see. This is, um, according to the Huffington Post, this is a Michelle Obama... We're like all over the place today. <laughs> Michelle Obama's Vogue cover for April exceeded our expectation. Let's see what she looks like. She looks good. You don't like it? She got some nice uh, veneers on her teeth. Some teeth. Hey, Eris. Is this her second cover? Yeah, it's her second cover. Second time being on the cover of it. Is she like the first uh, it's lady, a green lady to be on? Yeah. I put the link. You put the link on there? Let's see. See what's what, according to this. What I love, I love reading, you know, reading different, M, you know, news outlet. So let's see. This NBC Chicago says this. Yeah, according. This is their headline: First Lady outlines priorities in Vogue magazine. I just put it up on. Yeah, there it is. I just put it up on the screen. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, we're looking at it right now. They're saying that Michelle Obama is pushing back. See the story against, here. Man who wrestled a shark away from him, from kids fired from his charity after a trustee sees the video. Some guy who lives in England, right? <laughs> We're talking about Michelle Obama. You're popping in. Are you, are you done with Michelle oh, Obama? Th I, really, I don't Michelle really care about all <laughs> Michelle Obama. Sorry. Thank you. This is a more interesting story than Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Well, yeah, but they, they should fire Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, her and Beyonce need to give some charity away. Yeah, they need to give, you know... Sell their clothes for yeah, for sure. something. Yeah, they say that uh, Beyonce and Jay Z um, do not really give much anything away. Yeah, they donate anything at all, actually. Well, I wonder how much that is from growing up in the environment they were in. I grew up poor, and I give. I have no money. <laughs> we're always giving. We're money. poor. We're always giving away our we're stuff. Yeah, we've money got no money. We have no money, but we'll give it to someone else. I the mean, little bit that we have. yeah, whatever we have, you know. But like, we're the type of person like, oh. You want to, you're hungry? We will. That's why God we rather give food gives to you them such than, wonderful yeah. people to be around, like me, around you guys. That's, that's <laughs> your gift to give it away. Is this your first Coca Cola today, young man? <laughs> I'll have another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to, yeah, I'm going to go get some. I know how to I'm going to put Coca Cola down in my fast. sink because I, I need a. I'm I have serious. A, my sink is, is clogged up, so I'm going to pour some Coca Cola down there. It's good. I'll clean your, your I'll system clean my, out. My sink. No, my, my so actual bad. sink. You too. You and her are sugar. Yeah. We're against sugar. I can't well, see it either. So that's yes. 39 cars. So guys, we have. Uh, I'm gonna round up the show now. We we got we got over a little bit. We're having too much fun and too much. Uh, so Harry, you gonna try to make it down here next Thursday and have lunch with us? Yeah, I'll. I'll, uh, I'll yes. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, I have to see what that calendar. Oh, no, my last name, by the way, in Israel, Leshem. Leshem. They changed it because they didn't want to be lynched on. Okay, you just lie right now. <laughs> I think Aaron sometimes forgets. No, but yeah. that he, He's on, on the radio right now. <laughs> and we're, we're broadcasting, we're videotaping this. But no one sees this, well. but you guys can watch this later. So I want you guys to look, um, listen and hear what it says. I feel like I have an ADD kid next to me right now. <laughs> he's like all over the place here. He doesn't look like me at all. Wow, he's cute. No, he doesn't look like. <laughs> he looks like a stripper. Is, he, is your cousin a stripper? That's my father's brother, my uncle's son. Oh wow! You should see this picture over here, Harry. Or is my cousin hot? Yeah. <laughs> Why you got that smile on your face? Laura's like, yeah, it's okay. He's <laughs> alright. Down here, he's right so, in chest. Uh, <laughs> I'm not digging that. We have a lot. So I'm gonna go. Everybody have a great day. And um, sorry, we're all over the place today. Because <laughs> we're on a spree cast. And, yeah, and, it was and, fun. And Eris didn't think we could actually be on a spree cast together and talk together. We did it. <laughs> and we it actually worked. And and we're we're doing it, it at, at, a, at a Japanese sushi restaurant in, in the dark. Oh, that's my cousin there. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna close out the show. The first time I've seen Eris in a button-down. I got two girls and Eris is the first time I've seen you in a button-down. Yeah, he has a, yeah, he has, he's, he's not in his suit. Look at him, he's posing right now. <laughs> I got two hot girls. I got sushi and a Coca-Cola. Life doesn't get better. The American dream. Okay, watch My the American dream. Watch the Mac. Watch the Mac. Watch the Mac. With the with the Coca-Cola. <laughs> so everyone tune in tomorrow for my East, East West. Don't be jealous. Don't hate. So make sure you tune in tomorrow for social chats. We'll be on uh, a Google Hangout. And uh, everyone have a great day. Harry, happy birthday. Last week. Bye, guys. Thank you, Darius. Peace, brother. Peace. Peace. To the Dow, baby. To the Dow. <laughs>